Now, what an opening day for the Aussie hopefuls at the first Grand Slam of the year. Five Australians are through to the second round of the Australian Open, including Nick Kyrgios and Daria Gavrilova. Here to wrap up the first day's action and look ahead to day two is commentator, coach and former player Louise Fleming. Lou, it's great to have you with us. A very warm welcome to you to News Breakfast. What did you make of the opening day? Let's start with Nick Kyrgios showing that he can take his Brisbane international form into the first slam of the year. Yeah, he was great. Uh, he really embraces the big stage, doesn't he? Mm. And look, I think Nick is really, you know, he's maturing. He's starting to handle these bigger occasions better and better. And uh, he served extremely well against Udi yesterday. He, he just was really on fire. I think he loves playing in, on, in that high sense arena yeah. as well. Yeah. He just loves the environment there. He loves uh, all the people that get behind him. And I think he's sending a really positive message out there. And, you know, the fact that he is a little bit different, I think the Australian crowd are really embracing him. He had a massive reception when he walked yep. onto the arena last night. Yeah, and, and he's going to thrive. I think this year he is a real contender. Um, as long as he can stay physically well, mm. not have too many long, arduous five-setters, so it's going to break down his body. We know he can be slightly fragile on that end. But, uh, well, what a, what a great start for him and hopefully, you know, just match by match he can keep things together and uh, stay off the front pages for the wrong reasons, maybe. <laughs> He's got the hopes of a nation on his shoulders. We don't want to put too much pressure on him, but that's the situation. A tricky opponent in Viktor Troitsky next up. What was another massive highlight yesterday has to be the performance of Matthew Ebden. Did you see this coming? No, I don't think anyone <laughs> had. I don't think... Well, Matthew hadn't beaten Isner in the last three attempts, yeah. so for him to come out here and uh, to be so relaxed and and serve so well. I think for everything, for Matty, um, he doesn't have a, a huge part of his game that can really dictate and, and control matches. So he has to do everything really well. And yesterday he did, he stayed calm. He mixed it up really well. He's got great variation. He really can break down an opponent like John Isner. Isner has to serve out of his skin and he has to be you know, really moving well. His movement is a little bit of a, a troublesome part of his game. But um, Matty Ebden just played a, a wonderful match. And, gee, you know, you never know. He's had his ups and downs in his career. And, um, yeah, well done for Matty. Hopefully he can get a couple more victories as well this tournament. Of course, a good win to John Millman as well. But let's head to the women's draw. Daria Gavrilova, Dasha, what did you make of her game last night? Because she brought the power. She was able to hold all... Well, she wasn't able to... Force, she was able to force no service breaks in terms yeah. of her opponent last night. Yeah, Arena Falcone isn't one of the bigger players out there. Um, she likes to dismantle her opponents mm -hmm. and slice and she can mix it up. She's tricky. But, you know, that's the kind of player that Dasha won't have a problem with. The players that Dasha will have a problem with are the big servers, yeah. the big hitters, uh, women that will question her uh, ability to stay in longer rallies. And, and particularly on the backhand side, girls are going to start to really uh, expose Dasha a little bit on that wing. Mm -hmm. But she does so many good things. She is, she, for me, I think she's really improved her serve as well. Her forehand is outstanding, which is can be a little bit of a weakness in the women's mm. tour. So, and her movement and her competitiveness. Like, yeah. Every time she walks on the court, she absolutely leaves nothing there. She gives everything. Um, but yeah, she was on great form last night and, and she just had too much for Arena Falcone. Falcone doesn't have really a, a big game where she could really hurt Dasha mm. and I think we saw that last night. But what a great, uh, a great start for Dasha because it's just going to build confidence her. And she needs a, a few wins. She didn't uh, have a great run at Hopman Cup, mm. didn't get a lot of wins under her belt, which she had uh, previously in other years. So match by match, I, I think Dasha will get better. How disappointed were you to see the veteran Sam Stoza bow out in the opening round? Yeah, very disappointing, uh, considering she came so close yeah. to Monica Puig as well. She started off really well. She served extremely well, and I think that's, you know, that's her trademark when her serve is, is going well and obviously her forehand and, and everything just looked like it was in order. I was kind of feeling like, oh, thank goodness, we're going to get through that first round match. Um, it got tight at the end of that second set. She had a, a match point. She had a chance. But Monica Puig, she's a, a tough competitor. And it's, look, I think for Sam Stoza, 
if it's a 60-40% chance everywhere else around the world to win a match, yeah. it's probably a 49-51% a here at the Australian Open just because she's really lacked that ability to get through matches and plant that positive seed. Um, but yes, look, I, I think in her match uh, conference after media mm. conference, she was you know, pretty positive about it mm. and she'll take another hit and uh, she said, I'll see you next year. Very quickly, I want your men's tip and the women's tip. All right, my women's tip. <laughs> well, it's got to be out of Wozniacki and Kerber. I'm going for Kerber. You know, yep. she's a winner here. She's won it two years ago. Sydney she had International, great win. Sydney International, Hopman Cup. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, for the men, I've got to go with Roger Federer. Let's hope it's a, a Federer Nadal. <laughs> um, but I'm going with the old bloke. Anytime we're talking about a Fadal matchup, Lou, you know I'm going to be a fan of it as well. Let's hope that we can all join that bandwagon once again. Louise Fleming, thank you very much for joining us and hopefully we'll get you in as the tournament goes on again. Thanks, Georgie.